Keith is here with an In Focus Snapshot. Hi, I'm Keith Hughes and welcome to In Focus Snapshot, where we take a look at the stories from the state and our communities that you may have missed. The Baker Polito administration has awarded safety grants to five fire departments within the 12th Plymouth District, including Plymouth, Duxbury, Kingston, Plimpton, and Halifax. This five-year safety grant program represents a rounded approach to addressing health and safety risks, giving access to over 100 types of safety equipment. This gear includes protective clothing and washers and dryers to help mitigate exposure to hazardous material and fire byproducts, along with thermal imaging, gas meters, and more. Up at the State House, Senate President Karen Spilka has proposed what she calls a moonshot to reimagine an intergenerational care system that would support workers, particularly women, who have been forced to give up careers to care for family of all ages. Due to the economic impact of the pandemic, the rate of women participating in the workforce has been set back by more than a decade to levels not seen since right after the Great Recession. Senator Spilka has asked fellow Senator Adam Hines, who chairs the new special Senate committee focused on the, the post-pandemic recovery, to hold a listening session on the caregiving workforce. Make sure to check back here for updates on this story as it develops. Local elections are around the corner and PAC TV is here for all of it. Plymouth is holding their town election on Saturday, May 15th. In addition to races for the select board, school committee, and town meeting reps, residents will be voting on the creation of a charter commission. And if that passes, the nine members to make up that commission. You can watch the one-on-one -on -one interviews with candidates for the select board and school committee and candidate statements for a charter commission and other positions on PACTV's website, pactv.org, and PACTV's YouTube channel, PACTV Video Share. And remember, you can make your choices heard by voting on May 15th. The Pembroke Select Board has decided to move their town meeting to Tuesday, June 22nd at 7 p.m. at the Pembroke High School. They also voted to move the town election to Saturday, June 26th. Polls will be open from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. on that day for voters to cast their ballots. PAC-TV will be providing live coverage of the town meeting along with interviews with candidates for the select board and school committee. Stay tuned for updates on when they'll be available. Thanks for watching this edition of In Focus Snapshot. I'm Keith Hughes, and we'll see you next time.